All right, I will stand here and I will rain arrows down upon you from the high ground. That's about as complex as I'm willing to accept. The high ground definitely gives you a bonus to your attack. I know that because I am a Revenge of the Sith enjoyer. You know, I always thought though, like I'm not combat trained. I never served in like special forces or anything like that. I feel like the high ground in a lightsaber fight wouldn't be that advantageous, man. Hang on, I can use uh, space to use my active ability. Currently it's a melee attack, okay. Get owned. And then it takes five seconds to recharge. I got it. I understand. Get owned, and then we'll do one more. Like, I just feel like if I... If I was in, like, a sword fight, I almost feel like I would rather have the low ground. What's my reasoning for that? Well, I feel like it's hard to defend your shins and ankles from a, from a sword blow that's coming from below you. Whereas, like, I get that they're able to, like, attack your head, but at the same time, one of these days I'm going to land this melee attack. But it's easy to move your head out of the way, you just duck. Anybody here ever been on, um, like, Forged in Fire that could tell me if I'm correct? I think the high ground discourse was solved in the Middle Ages. I'm just saying I think it differs maybe based on weapon type. I recognize that a lightsaber is not a real weapon yet. Like, definitely, if you're, like, if you have a bow and arrow, I would like to have the high ground. But a sword? A one-on-one -on -one sword battle? I mean, I just feel like if... I would rather be like two feet lower than my opponent and just wear a helmet or something. I'm a four-star general and I agree with you. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Me trying to think of a four-star general who hasn't been uh, canceled for a hundred years for uh, war crimes. Um, um, uh, uh, Patton, uh, uh, Heinz Guderian, uh, 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 Zukov, is there anything? Help me, help me. I guess you don't hear about too many four-star generals or five-star generals um, in peacetime. That makes sense. Zukov had like 15 stars. I've seen the picture. That's like one of the, my favorite things about um, the death of Stalin is that it's funny when Zukov walks in and his entire jacket is covered in medals. And then when you see the real Soviet photos of Zukov, they actually toned it down in the movie to make it like more realistic. The, the official portrait of Zukov, like literally the entire one side of his jacket is just covered with medals of valor. What weapon are you maining in the, in the medieval era? Snokas Garmin plus two. You think I don't have <laughs> the eyes of a much younger man? Legolas, what do your mod eyes see? You're back, I see you. Okay, hang on. I don't know. What would I main? I think I'm a coward, so I would be like a bow and arrow. Or like a, a crossbow Andy or something like that. I definitely don't want to be like a dude with a shield or a, a, a sword or a bardish or something like that. Maybe this sounds like too simplistic, but like if you get... If you're an archer on the battlements and your castle's being sieged, you should never die, right? Like, you just shoot your bow and arrow, and then, like, eventually they breach the gates, and then that's your cue to get the fuck out of there, dude. Go run away. Escape from the back door or something like that. If you're one of the dudes with a sword, you got no choice but to be, like, in the midst. But <laughs> if you run, it's a siege. You got, to like, a tunnel or something or go out through the sewer. I'm just saying. Also... <laughs> I don't know if they ever thought of this. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I feel like if I was getting, if my castle was getting sieged and I was an archer, I would definitely like shoot arrows. But then as soon as they breached the gate, I would hide. And then as soon as like one of them was cut down, I would simply swap armor with them so that I was instead wearing the armor of, uh, of the winning side. And then I would be like, let's go guys. Check it out. I know where the nobles are hiding or something like that. <laughs> How do you explain the arrow hole or sword slash in your new outfit? I think it's simple. You say one of the vile bastards 
uh, sliced me, but he didn't hit a vital organ. Did you know that, like, after the uh, Allies reinvaded Western Europe in the Second World War, there was a, a plot to kill Dwight Eisenhower from undercover German spies in Paris? And the way that they tried to suss out who were the undercover German spies was they would ask them who won the World Series last year. My ass would be uh, dead due to a false positive for sure. That hardly seems fair, man. Just say Yankees. I'm just like, I would be like, I don't know. I could tell you, could I, I'll tell you who won the Stanley Cup last year. They would probably be like, Stanley Cup, what is that, the Bundesliga? I think just being able to list some teams would probably clear you. I hope so. I'd be like Washington Nationals. They'd be like, what the fuck? What the Washington? Uh, uh, Miami Marlins? Miami, Miami? Yeah, there's a baseball team in Miami, brother, in the damn swamp. <laughs> uh, would not follow the king out of the town gates. I definitely, like, I feel like in the medieval era, I would not have wanted to be, like, a soldier. I don't know if you have much choice in the matter, don't get me wrong, but, like... Couldn't I, like, crush my leg with, like, a big pillar or something like that? And, me <laughs> and be like, oh, I can't, I can't. Sorry. What about in the modern era? Well, I'd rather not be a soldier in the modern era, too. I gotta admit, though, the pension seems nice. <laughs> 